Hey everyone, welcome to another LEGO Fan video. So last time we um, started out with the Louvre. Today we're going to finish it and build the Arc de Triomphe. And they even have a nice little fun fact about the Louvre. It says it's the largest and most visited museum in the world. And as a universal museum, its renowned collections span many millenniums and miles from the Americans to Asia. So today we're just going to be finishing up the Louvre and then we're going to build the Arc de Triomphe. And then that will be the final part before we get into the big gigantic Eiffel Tower. So let's begin. So in the first step, step 73, you're going to take two 2x4s, gray in color. And you're going to be taking four... What, 1 by 2 ramps, dark gray in color. And what you're going to be doing is you're going to be building this. So line up two on the front. So one. And two. And then line up two in the back facing away from these two. To make a sort of sloped roof. So one. Two. Just like this. And then these go on right here. So one and two. Alrighty, so now we're gonna build the famous dome. So we're gonna take a raised one by one with four connectors all around it. You're gonna be taking um, four clear one by one ramps. And one of the um, one by one pyramids, clear in color as well. So I'm going to need two hands, but you're going to be placing the ramps facing upwards on all the connectors. Except for the top one. Okay. And I'll show you how it looks when I'm done. So it should look like that when you have all the ramps on. And then this piece here will go on the top. Once it agrees with me. So that way, it looks like this. And then you should know where it goes. Just like that. Okay? And there you go. That's the Louvre. So now we got the Grand Palace, the Champs Elysees, the Montparnasse, and the Louvre. We got two more landmarks to go. Before we get to the next landmark, they decided to include some nice little trees in these two spots, one and two. So you're going to be building the trees again, like this one over, like these over here. So you're just going to require two bound studs and four one by one dark green in color. So of course I have the stud at the bottom. And then place down the two one by ones. So one and two. So it should look like this. And then you're going to place one here and the other one here. So now you got two nice little trees. Now let's move over to this area here. So the next step has a ton of pieces. So the next step requires two one by one dark gray flats, four uh, dark gray quarter pieces, Two 1x2 flats, dark gray in color, 
and five one by twos with the one stud dark gray in color. Alrighty, so what you're going to be doing is you're going to form a nice little base. So I always start in the top corner. And I'm going to do this in columns. So put, put one of the quarter pieces right here in the top left corner. Then going downwards, place down the one by two flat. Then place down the another quarter piece. Like that. Then place down in the next column two one, one by twos with the one stud going downwards like that. And then place down a one by one right over here. Then place down a one by two with the one stud. And then place down another one by one. And then you're going to do the same as on this side. So that way it will look like, come on. It will look like this. Okay, that's your base for the Arc de Triomphe. Now, you're going to be taking four one by, white 1x1s one by and a clear orange stud. So, on all the corners, you're going to place the white 1x1s. One on every single one of the corners. Okay, so it will look like this. And then place the clear stud in the center. Now, take two 1x4 arches, 1x3 arches, and connect the two of the corners. So one goes there, and the other one goes right there. Okay, why are pieces not agreeing with me? There we go. So it looks like that. Now you're going to take another three one by three arches. And these will go sideways on each row. So one, two, and three. Just like that. Now take six hollows white studs, these, okay, you're going to have, you should have six of them, and you're going to be taking what I'm going to call a ha two half ovals, white in color, so these, so these pieces, because when you put two of them together, they form an oval, or, yeah, just see, or a white pill, whatever you want, however you want to see it. So, you're going to be placing all six of these studs on either side, so one, two, three, and then on the other side, one, Two and three and three and then you're going to be placing one half on this side like that 
and then the other one on the other side. So it should so it should look like that. Now take six one by twos with the one stud on the top, white in color. And you're going to be placing them like this. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then you're going to be taking two one, one by three flats, white in color, and a one by, a flat one by four with two studs on the top. So attach the two one by threes on either side like this. Like that, and then attach the one by two, one by three with the two stud in the center. And now place down um, these two pieces right in line with each other. So one goes there, and one goes there. And I did that wrong. And there we go. There's the Arc de Triomphe. And according to this, as a salute to the airmen killed during World War One, Pilot Charles. Excuse if I. I'm sorry if I am going to pronounce his last name wrong. Charles Scott Foy flew his near point flight fighter plane through this arc. Through the arc. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. We now have only one landmark left because this was the Arc de Triomphe. Next time we'll be starting up um, the Eiffel Tower. I'll see you guys then. So long.